Hey guys, it's Miss Leg, and today I'm going to talk to you about using or finding area and circumference using 3.14 in place of pi. I'm going to kind of circle back to that in just a second. But before we really dive into area and circumference, we really need to know the vocabulary of a circle. So get out a piece of paper, get a pencil, and we're going to write down a couple of vocab words. Okay, so vocabulary, five vocab words. Center. The center is the middle of a circle. That's easy enough, right? So I'm going to draw a circle. And this is the center. It's the middle. Okay? Radius. Radius is the distance from the center to the outer edge of a circle. So radius, we go from the center to the outside. So this is your radius. Okay? That is your radius. Now, it doesn't just have to be on the side, okay? That means any, any line from the center to the outside. So it could be here to here, here to here, here to here, okay? Starts to look kind of like a spider web, but anything from the center to the outside. Now, I like to tell people, okay, your radius is kind of like your slice of pizza, okay? Pizza typically comes in a circle. It can sometimes come in a square, but for the most part, it comes in a circle, okay? Um, and when it comes in a circle, the radius is like having a slice of pizza. It goes from the crust to the center, from the crust to the center, okay? That's your radius, your slice of pizza. Next, we have our diameter. Diameter is your distance from a point on the outer edge through the center and to the opposite point of a circle. Cuts the circle in half. So, if radius is my pizza slice, then diameter cuts my pizza in half. So it would go from here through the middle to the other end, okay? Cuts my pizza in half. Now, diameter is kind of special, okay, because, because diameter has two radiuses, is what I mean. So diameter goes from one end to the other, but from here to here is a radius, from here to here is a radius, okay? So if I wanted to know all of this together, I, my diameter can be equal to 2 times your radius, okay? Next, circumference. Circumference is the distance around the circle. Keywords, revolution, around, outer edge, rotation. So the circumference is anything on the outside of the circle. So if I go from here and I go all the way around, how long did that take me? I like to call this my crust. Circumference is your crust, okay? Circumference is your crust of your pizza. So radius is a slice, diameter cuts your pizza in half, and circumference is the crust, okay? Last one, area. Area is the space inside of the circle. It has keywords inside, square units, unit squared, space, okay? That means that if circumference is the crust, then radiate or area is all of the goodness inside of the pizza, okay? So radius is a slice, diameter, cut your pizza in half, circumference is a crust, and area is the pizza inside, okay? Okay, let's work some practice problems so we can actually use these vocabulary words. Okay, so area and circumference, that's what we're looking for today, okay? So in this case, the problem says, find the area and circumference of the circle. And they give you a picture of a circle, which has a line down the center and the number 30 inches on it, okay? So find the area. Area, for area, we're gonna use a capital A. Now I've put three formulas up here. A formula is a format or a basis of where to start your problem. Now, look at your three formulas. I have one, two, three. I have C, C, and A. So if area is A, we're going to use the area formula today, okay? So area equals pi r squared, okay? Area equals pi r squared. That is our basis. That is where we're starting, okay? Now, I'm going to plug in my information that I know. So, for example, A is what we're looking for. We're going to keep it. I'm going to bring down my equal sign. Now, pi. This little symbol right here is pi, P-I. 
Okay, not like pie you eat, okay? Um, the symbol pie is just a placeholder for the number 3.14. So for today, anytime you see the list pie, you're going to use 3.14, okay? So we're going to plug in what we know. So for pie, I'm plugging in 3.14, okay? And then R, R is my radius. Now, look at your circle here. Anything from the middle to the outside is your radius. So we have a radius of 30, and we're going to do 30 squared. Okay, now some of you might be like, where did this formula come from? It really doesn't matter. The focus here today is you just have to be able to plug in your information. So A stays the same. Pi becomes 3.14. R becomes 30. The 2 stays the same. Okay, all I'm doing is substituting what I know with the letters that they batch with, okay? Now, when we use these, okay, you gotta go order of operations. So please excuse my dear and Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, add, subtract, okay? So for parentheses, in this case, we have two different parentheses. In that case, we have to follow order of operations for the parentheses. So exponents comes next. So in this case, we're gonna do 30 squared. That's an exponent, okay? It's up top. We're gonna do 30 squared first. So on the side here, I'm gonna do 30 times 30, okay? And if you do 30 times 30, I think you get 900. So I'm gonna replace this, so area equals 3.14 times 900, okay? So I didn't use it yet, I brought it down. I did 30 times 30, I got 900. So area equals 3.14 times 900, so 3.14 times 900 the area of this circle is 22,826. And then look, look at the inches. So we have the unit is inches. And for area, we do squared. Okay, so we follow the formula. A equals pi r squared. Area equals 2,826 inches squared. Okay? Now, we're not done with this problem, so we also have to do circumference. Okay? So circumference, we have two different formulas here. Now look at the information we're given. This circle gives us one little bit of information and that is 30 inches is our radius. This is our radius, okay? So I'm gonna look at my circumference options. C is for circumference. I have two of them. So I need to decide which one of those is gonna work for me or in this case, which one has a radius. So that's gonna be this one right here. So C, equals 2 pi r, okay? C equals 2 pi r. So C is my circumference. I'm gonna bring down my two. And now here's the part where we start plugging in things that we know, okay? So pi, today pi is 3.14. So in parentheses, I put 3.14, okay? And then my radius is 30. Now. I'm gonna multiply these. How do I know that I'm multiplying? There's two things. The first one is, when you see things that are smushed together like this, that means to multiply. So when you see these variables smushed together, they mean multiply. The next thing that I did was I wrote everything in parentheses, okay, to represent multiplication. So when I go to put this in my calculator, I am doing two times 3.14 times 30. So in your calculators, and when you multiply all those out, you have the circumference around the circle is going to be equal to 188.4 inches. Okay, this is a lot of information. That's okay. So, for the record, let's just talk about, let's talk it out again. Area. We used our formula. We plugged in what we knew. We used our exponents. We multiplied. We got an answer. When that tells you right there, that tells you that if this was a real circle and it was on the ground, okay, or it was on my table or in my hand, if this was a pizza, this pizza is going to take up 2,826 inches squared. That's all this inside, okay? Next, circumference, okay? I used my formula. I plugged in what I knew. I multiplied, and I got my circumference is 188.4. So if this was a pizza... The crust would be 188.4 all the way around the circle, okay? Okay, we're gonna do one more example. Okay, so same 
same example, different circle, okay? Find the area and circumference of the circle, okay? Find the area and the circumference of a circle. So area is the inside, so now I have one formula for area. Area equals pi r squared. Area equals pi r squared, okay? Now, this is the part where I plug in my information. So let's look at my circle here, okay? They drew a circle. Now, they have a line cutting my circle in half. That tells me that this is a diameter, okay? The diameter that they give me is 44 feet, okay? So to go from one end of my pizza to the other is 44 feet. That's a very large pizza, okay? So when I go to plug my information in, I got to put in what I know, okay? Area is what I'm looking for, okay? Pi for today, pi equals 3.14. Okay, and next I'm going to put in my radius. Now, come back over here. They did not give me a radius, so I'm going to have to find a radius, okay? So, for example, the, for in this example, okay, they give me a diameter. Your radius is half of your diameter. So, for example, like if I'm going to say the radius is going from here to here, Okay, so that's not the full 44. I want half of 44. How do I take half of 44? I cut it in half. I divide it by 2, which means that my radius is 22 feet. Okay, so in my formula, I'm going to put in 22 squared. 22 squared. Okay, so then I'm going to multiply. 22 times 22 times 3.14, and when I multiply all of those out, I get 1,519.76 inches squared, or excuse me, feet squared, feet squared. So that tells me inside of my circle is 1,519.76, okay? Okay, we're almost done. Last part is C for circumference. Okay, I have two formulas. It does not matter which one you use. I don't really care. But in this situation, because they give me diameter, I'm going to use the one with diameter. So C equals diameter times pi. Okay, so C equals the diameter. What is my diameter? 44 times pi. Well, what is pi? Pi is 3.14. So I'm substituting the symbol for 3.14. Okay, I put that in my calculator and I multiply it out and I get 138.16 feet. So the distance around the circle is 138.16 feet. Be sure to reach out to your teachers if you guys have any questions and I hope you have a great day.